Let's check music. Everything seems to be set on there. Tab in, have a listen. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, we should be good. Everything should be a-okay. And we're on the bottom left part of the map. Cool. Okay, so sorry about the delay there, guys. Um, their team speak literally just hard reset itself. So we're in a different group's team speak. And it's really funny because um, in this team speak, there's a private room because I do stuff in this team speak too on a different day. I'm not going to reveal it. Uh, right now, uh, I'll make a reference to when I'm in here next time, uh, that it happened, but there's a private channel that, uh, you have to have a certain tag or password <laughs> to get into, so I'm using that as my, uh, casting couch channel for, uh, the event, but otherwise game server is still the same thing. So thank you for the delay, guys. Um, er, <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, wait. Thank you for being patient during the delay, guys. Yeah, as you can see, I can clearly english here and we're going to cover rounds one and two i don't think i'm gonna cover three simply because i want to do a little bit of daisy streaming afterwards um and uh, then i'm gonna be spending the evening editing content uh because i need to because my drive's full and uh calibrating my uh greenhouse so We'll see how that goes. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get into the mission. I will be solo shoutcasting today. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. So, mission made by Kevin. Background is on December 3rd, 1989, at Cape. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that word. Finland. A month after the Berlin Wall fell and with the USSR's dissolution at hand, a rogue Soviet 6th Army launched a surprise offensive from Kar Karyala. Uh, into southern eastern Finland. U.S. forces on alert in the region were quick to respond. Uh, no, were quickly air landed onto an airfield near one of the Soviet spearheads, but were quickly overrun and forced to retreat south. U.S. troops are now forced to fight uh, rear guard action to allow the main body to be recovered from the southern tip of the peninsula. Notes: 250 fortified points. Man-made cover is scarce within the AO. Recommended defending team deliberates. Uh, with their fortifications. Makes sense. <clears throat> Game mode is going to be two sectors to control. Sectors are going to be on uh, these two areas here. This is a really small AO, so it explains why they're going to be mostly on foot with the exception of transports. I need to rewrite the mission command because it looks like they uh, don't get anything armed here. It's purely infantry. All right. So otherwise, mission variables here. View distance is going to be 1,200 meters. Defend builder points are going to be 250. No magnified optics, no NVGs. Let me just quickly look at some of these guns here. I don't see any magnified optics. It's blank. Sometimes that means yes or no. So I just like to check. Otherwise, interesting. So they've made the mat. Uh, they've limited the lat with the mat. So there's a lot more light anti-tank gunners. I guess that makes sense ever since they um, un nerfed grenade damage. Explosive damage has also been pretty big on... Um, F and F, so limiting the amount of explosives that can be fired back and forth, even though it's AT rounds, it doesn't do a lot, uh, is pretty critical for a mission like this. Otherwise, Blue 4 are going to be your 1980s Army camouflage. Quick breakdown of the units. you got platoon lead, platoon sergeant, squad leader, team leader, auto rifleman, auto rifleman assistant, six. grenadier, grenadier, IR, we have hunt IR rounds, little cameras That's you can enough. fire into the air. It gives you a bird's eye view. Really great for reconnaissance and getting your bearings. Machine gunner, machine gunner assistant, combat engineer who have a choice of bringing explosive charges, explosive satchels, tripwire mines, and trip, uh, excuse me, AT mines into the AO. Uh, light anti-tank, medium anti-tank one, and assistant, medium anti-tank two, and assistant. I'd imagine the assistant then just has a bigger backpack with no extra rounds for uh, the second gunner who has only a uh, light uh, LAT uh, disposable stick instead of a reloadable launcher. Uh, recon infantry, recon infantry scout, guys with the suppressed guns. Designated marksman, which for blue four, that appears to be some sort of Mark 14 with a bipod platform. Uh, sniper, um, appears to be an M24, but we'll actually see that one in a second. I always call it the DMR because it's not in the loadout. Uh, and then you have your crew lead, crewmen, pilot, medics, and then your base kit. Loadouts for Blue 4 are going to be M16A1s, so you can only single shot or three round burst that weapon. Uh, Colt Carbine, same thing. You get the M9 as a secondary. Uh, wow, they get a choice between a 249 or an M60, but I mean, the M60 is pretty much the same thing as a 240 Bravo or Golf. It's a 100 round 762x51 NATO platform anyway. So uh, it just has higher recoil, in my opinion, compared to the uh, 240 Bravo. So. We'll see how they work with it. 
Uh, Light Ants tanks from the M72 Law. Uh, Sniper gets the M24. Suppressed Shooters get a choice of the Mark 14 or the MP5 yeah. integrally suppressed. Yep. Uh, and then Crew and Aviation get a choice of an MP5 or a Colt Carbine, but I don't think there's any of those slots on right now because, uh, yeah, there's no vehicles. And they get two uh, Mutt Jeeps for transport. I think that's literally just for Recon wants to go on a sortie, but I have no idea why Blue 4 would have Recon elements down at this point. Otherwise, Op 4 kits are going to be 1980s. Uh, Russians, I'm going to skip down. It's going to be an SVD. That's an SVD. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, there's Sniper's going to get the fucking Mosin. Oh. All right, they get AK-74s and AK-74 UNs, carbine version PMs for the handguns, RPK at 74s for their light machine gun, PKM for the beating machine gun, and for the auto rifleman and the machine gunner slots, respectively. RPG-26 as the light anti-tank. Recon gets the fucking bolt action Mosin Nagant chambered in 7.62 by 5.4R. Oh, it's beautiful. Suppressed so shooters get a choice of either a 45 round 5.45 AKS. Uh, 74 or a 20 round 9 by 39 ASL crew and aviation. Holy fuck! It's the hardest decision in Friday night fights. Oh, I I can't believe it. They get a choice between an AKS 74 UN or or and this is where it gets really fucking difficult here because I mean just judging from this terrain alone i mean it's infantry only there's only two sectors blue force stuck on a peninsula and they give they have the audacity to give them the choice i can't even get back in the menu it's so fucking epic they have the audacity to give them the choice between the aks with an aks 74 un it's it's really really niche let me let me actually tab out here and show you why let me look at these aos real quick so blue four already deploying they're gonna be sending some forces out to counterattack because they actually chose to have an x-ray group because they're silly uh but look at these aos here so there's not a lot of cover there's a lot of fortify points down double the normal 125 there's 250 so that leaves blue for a lot of room to fortify here which is why op four if given the choice should go for the AKS, all right? I think that would be a great CQC weapon. Uh, it's also sleek and compact. It's not sticking out too far. You have great control of the weapon. Uh, that would be easily, uh, that would allow you to easily breach in, take out targets, uh, easily lift the gun up, take out targets as well. Um, you just gotta get close enough. However, looking at sector one, you're gonna notice this actually, uh, not just on a bit of a hill here, but there's also these vast, vast forests around which means you might want instead to get, let me pull it up again, the AKS, okay? Um, Cause with how spaced out everything is, especially on this hillside, uh, visuals, they get broken apart by the trees. So things get a little closer, not super close like in CQC situations, but you know, close enough within a hundred meters, you're gonna be doing a lot of suppressing fire. You're gonna probably want the AKS for those situations. But again, it's really, really tough i i envy actually no excuse me i don't envy whoever has to make that decision that's probably going to be like one of the toughest in their lives and i mean the fate of the entire match is going to depend on it guys anyway op4 just get a few transport vix as well five gases and a uh, uaz gases are trucks they can carry about a full squad and the uaz can carry seven people Otherwise, Mountain, he is going to be leading the platoon for Blue 4. Lolo is going to be leading X-Ray group. I don't know why Blue 4 has X-Ray. There's, Unless they're going to try to sneak behind enemy lines, but then there's no point for them to have a sniper. But it looks like they're breaking off the sniper to put them in the back line instead, maybe on an Overwatch position. That's pretty decent then. Because at that point, the point of these guys is to get in close. I mean, we see an MP5 SD. We've got a suppressed Mark 14. Uh, and then you got the two IC over here, but Seismo, G Legs as the sniper, Sam as a suppress shooter, Coleman Eric as a suppress shooter, Mackenzie as the two IC. Good time Saddam leading Alpha One with Wise, Wiki, Bobby, Azuki, Arcane, and Ilbanek. Alpha Two being led by Cool Breeze with Fist Martin, KTH, uh, KT Harris, excuse me, Dreek, Maz, Wheaton, and Thorn. Uh, Rancid leading Bravo One with Jack, Alex, Bonnie, Mitch, Black Fox, and Killer Wolf. Bravo 2 being led by Bacon Flavored Ivan with Shy, Olaf, Mutants, and Cake. And then Stottenberg and Alpha HQ right now. He'll probably merge together. He actually took a crew slot for some weird reason. So don't know why there. Otherwise, Pierce is going to be leading the Op 4 Assault. I'm going to be honest. There's something called a Pierce play. Uh, Pierce comes up with these really weird, crazy strategies. I don't know. Oh, look at that. They fixed the <laughs> F and F server. Uh, I don't know what the fuck he'd do to make a crazy strategy out of this. This is really cut and dry, like send forces forward. 
Uh, he might still find a way to butcher it, but let's uh, let's hope not. Okay, I, I trust Pierce. But otherwise, Waldo leading X-Ray. He's got Tender Banner and Twins. What kind does Twins have? He has an AKS. All right, and Tender Banner is the uh, marksman there. I imagine they're going to keep them together with the main force pushing through. Otherwise, Lurch leading Alpha HQ. Alpha 1B led by Nemesis with Whiplash, Sam Handwich, Grav, Lennox, Savan, and Iander. Alpha 2 being led by Mito with Stretch, Kevin, Mike, Colin, and Aussie Wookie. Oh, look at that. Aussie Wookie has decided to go with the AKS. That's a really, really interesting decision there. I... I, I hope it plays out for him. We're just going to have to see. Bayant, meanwhile, leading Bravo 1 with Dooley, Ash, Chow, Shrike, and Banks. Uh, you got Montgomery leading Charlie HQ. Charlie 1 led by Steve with Puma, Kabui. Uh, Kabubi, I always butcher it. Naders. Oh, wow. Look at what he's done. He went. You know, I applaud that. He went with the AKS. That's. I, I think that's really good for Naders, but we'll see what happens. Uh, and then Quantum. Uh, Norris leading Charlie 2 with Gordon, Sholin, Bates, Drake, Eagle, and Schultz. And then Schnuffles leading Artisan, Space Cowboy, Carl, uh, Brendel, Roche, and Mitten. It's quite the group there. I mean, we'll, I think Green 4, excuse me, Off 4, my bad. Um, you know, they got some really good weaponry in here. But, I mean, it's really concerning because I'm seeing a lot of these guys choosing the AKS. And, I mean, given the option, it's... I don't know, guys. I mean, I'd rather take the AKS in their shoes, but, I mean, if they want to go with the AKS, they can go with the AKS. All right? It's it's tough. K going to Pierce leading all in blue for Yeah, right? I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of in that boat too, K, because I'm seeing a lot of people taking AKSs. Um, and I just, I just don't agree with it. I mean, and then you have those poor sorry bastards that are stuck with the AKS. They don't get a choice between the AKS 74 UN and the AKS 74 UN. You know, it's it's difficult. It's really, really difficult. And I think that might be Op 4's Achilles' heel. You see, if they have enough people with the AKS 74 UN, I think they'll be fine. But if too many people take the AKS 74 UN, it's it's just going to be all over before it even starts, to be perfectly honest. Otherwise, round is about to begin. You'll have a few extra minutes to put your prediction points down. I've noticed a lot of you are still choosing Op4. I mean, I think that's really brave of you, personally. Uh, I can I can see, you know, in the hands of people like Seven, they've got, you know, the AKS. They might be able to do well here, but... Uh, I don't know. Some of them are still choosing the AKS. All right? That's ah, tough. It's very tough. I know DM phobia. It. We'll, we'll just have to see how it goes. All right. We'll honestly just have to see how it goes. Uh, Green Neko, if your head hurts, I recommend you go see a doctor. Okay. That's that's how they can fix it. All right. Now you should ask the doctor what he would choose, and if he says he'd choose an AKS, he's wrong. He should choose an AKS. All right. That is how you screen for good and bad doctors. It's actually really that easy. Looks like Op4 is not going to choose any vehicles. They're just going to go on foot. It's a Pierce play. Hey, Green Neko, no. Come on, don't be such a sourpuss. Not everyone's gonna like my humor, and you know what? I don't care. Because the oftenness of seeing that is worth stretching out the damn joke every single time for me. Because I have to love what I do too. Except those people that chose the AKS, they can burn in hell. Anyway, uh, so X-Ray's deployed all the way on the northern tip because they've decided to be useless, to be expected. What they might do is they might wait for Sector 2 to atta uh, be attacked, and then they might fold in on the rear. But you know what? I think they're honestly just going to go fishing instead. <clears throat> do you die in your War Thunder match, Green Neko? <laughs> I'm sorry. I died in my game because I didn't pick the AKS. See, that is what I'm talking about, Pyro. You have to, when given the choice, pick the AKS. Because if you pick the AKS instead, you're screwed. It's like a siege match all over. It's a 1v6. And you're packing an AKS, sure, but all the enemies are packing an AKS, buddy. You're going to be in a lot of trouble. 
contractually obliged to agree with the Neko. <laughs> Look, what else am I going to talk about here right now, guys? I literally have a kilometer to walk. X-Ray is going to go be useless as usual. So that's another loss of players for Blue 4. Then they're going to come in on the rear. And if Op 4 has any sense of common courtesy or common sense in the first place, they're going to hear them coming and shoot them and get them all killed before they can do anything significant. But then again, some of them did yeah, choose an AKS. So, you know, anything's fucking possible at this point. Ah, uh, Neko, have you considered get good? All right, because I think um, I think skill issue is a medically diagnosable thing, you know. And that's the difference between people that choose an AKS and choose the AKS. All right, it's it's literally a skill issue. All right, I mean, <laughs> this is probably going to be a 35, maybe 40 minute round at most. If the original Blue Four Garrison here is going to be able to hold off the main assault, this is just going to be a slow burn of Blue Four slowly hunting everyone down. I do imagine these guys are literally going to side camp just to then flank on the rear with the suppressed guns, which is a smart strat. Uh, that'll help them lower the number advantage because what you're going to see here is Op4 go into a battle line. And that's going to put a few people right here that Blue Four can then slowly start sweeping until they get killed off themselves. Uh, to help nullify the fact that Blue Four separated itself amongst two sectors. I'm going to be honest. Only leave like Command in Sector 1. Put everyone else on some sort of battle line to counter this movement coming in and just micro your forces accordingly. Because otherwise you're really risking Sector 2 just being encircled and defeated in detail. And then this outside force getting screwed as it pulls back and then Sector 1 having the same thing. With this being on a thin peninsula, there is not a lot of room to outflank and maneuver. So with Op4 making a battle line right here, this force that could potentially come around and flank the, you know, flank of the battle line. It's more likely to just run into the troops head on and get killed off. But yeah, we're going to basically watch this go through. Uh, for the first two rounds, I'm going to then jump ship and then uh, play some DayZ so you people control me because I have to go move my uh, Kraz. You know? Uh, I have to basically clear its inventory out because it's uh, getting deleted because they're deleting the Kraz mod, unfortunately, because there's been too many issues with it. So we'll wave goodbye to it. I'll strip it of parts, which actually, no, I think they're going to replace it for me. So uh, we'll go from there. There you go, so we'll fight you doing. So Op4 is now being very cautious with their movement, I think because they want to concern stamina. You're seeing a traditional battle line being deployed here. I'm just curious, though, what is the range of this Blue 4 group? See, they're getting in these uh, buildings here so they can get better Overwatch, but that's also going to really heighten their uh, profile to potentially be spotted, but they are at least caching some guys back here to uh, hide them away. So I guess it's up to Lolo to look left and see that force coming in. Congrats, Green. You get a head pet. Yeah, so they don't spot anyone, then it's going to be really hard for them to get into position. And by then, Op4 could literally steamroll and outpace the Blue 4 X-Ray team. So it really could have been worth it just to have someone up there to, like, you know, stay under a tree and just prone. So now are we going to see Blue 4 X-Ray Maneuver, or are they just going to hold and try to get better eyes on as uh, Op 4 continues to push? 
I, I think it's actually no I know it's gonna be the latter because they're just gonna get their sniper to plink ah this is literally just three dudes so even if they die it's very inconsequential to the actual operation love how ace has just completely gone ahead of his group by a few hundred meters he now is getting his marksman rifle out and he's looking up the enemy and sector one my friend and I don't think they spotted you yet Oh yeah, Falcon, they were having some server issues with their team speak. They got it fixed uh, as they started round one on a uh, different team speak, so. And now we wait. Napa's Farmalani. I do appreciate some of the bunkers they've made here, yeah. Now you're gonna start seeing some suppression going into groups as they come in. Some immediate return fire. And now we need to see a fire lit under X-ray so they can actually move in and be useful. Otherwise, Sector 2 will get encircled here. Ah! Oh my god! He's run ahead and now he's getting blue on blue! Oh! Oh, that's fucking hilarious. I love this game. You're right, red on red, technically. Are you still taking fire? Shoot him! Shoot your teammate! Shoot your teammate! Face, just, just bitch slap him with your marksman rifle. Just do it. I, I just want to see him, like, dab on Quantum. There's not really any other way I can word that. I just want to see it happen. He's getting his fighters out to confirm the PID. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's brilliant. Get him, buddy. Oh, shit, he's coming. Quantum, get your gun out. Quantum, he's charging you. Quantum. Quantum, take the shot. Oh, God. <laughs> I swear he would have shot him in the face if he saw him running down. He would have totally fucking done it. Please, for the love of God, see him and shoot him. Ah, oh. Damn, now it's because he's on his side, he's not going to shoot him. When I say side, I mean not on op 4. I mean he's literally next to him at that point. All right, you got this group moving in here. Blue 4 now starting to move in, but op 4 is already getting on top of the objective. I'm calling it out. Blue 4 is going to mostly be useless with that x-ray group. Because this group is charging through the smoke. They're going to get up to these fortification lines, then to that building, and then start pushing against this force. That's going to alleviate this group, which is going to keep moving. So we had some explosive traps triggered here. That knocked out Nemesis. Did it get anyone else, though? Not really. They only saw him and decided to trigger it before waiting for that honeypot to uh, get loaded a bit more. Oh, and yes, Mr. Hand Grenade is not your friend once you pull them in. Run back. Lennox, I can't tell if he got shot by someone or... Oh, it might be Bacon putting random GLs out on the rear. I mean, the rest of his group is over here. I'm going to be honest. If that was Falcon, he'd be... Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I should stop going there, but... Old habits die hard. Uh, it's Friday Night Fights. I actually don't know all the units participating. 
Another explosive trap went off up here, but that was, again, I believe a dud because Op4 hadn't moved up at this point. This has slowed them down, though. This is giving X-Ray and Bacon over here some room to move in. I also love how Delta HQ is, like, bypassing. They've run into this group now, and that's causing some reinforcements to come in here. Like, the whole firefight is just getting completely stagnated at this point. Yeah, it's funny how you bring that up, because the sniper is... Oh, no, he is. I saw him over at completely different angle the other time, but... Yeah, that's besides the point. So you're seeing some heavy machine gun fire coming down. Nemesis. Kind of serpentine but now he's committing to the single direction. Blue 4, unfortunately, jumped the gun on their explosive traps, so they're not going to really bear a lot of fruit. Now you're seeing some AT fired in the building, but again... It's out of panic because they think there's more Op4 guys coming up. You gotta be patient with those explosive traps because if you're not, you're SOL. Lurch getting shot at from the rear at this point. Oh, lucky headshot by Lurch right there. That was Aussie. No, it was Lurch. Not sure if Bacon will wake back up, but that play is pretty much over. You got Bravo up here counterattacking some of their forces here as Azuki is trying to flank. Banks over here. Grenades being thrown around. I'd laugh if he hit himself with that. Oh, a little bit of smoke got in both of their ways. As Zuki tries to loop around and close the knot to find him. Bacon woke back up. He's fighting literally three different shooters and he gets chewed down. Oh, and even more firing from the fortification. That is, however, still slowing this off board group down and buying more time for X-Ray to come in. And then Delta's gotten a hunt up right here in this kill zone, but if this group falters, they're just going to push south, eliminate this group, and push on and continue a defeat. Um, and I mean, it's not really a defeat in detail because they always had the numbers on, so, you know, just a, a steamroll at that point. Oh... He's here. Something's wrong. I can sense it. So Seven is still up there. It looks like Nemesis got picked off. Because he was also up there and I don't... Yeah, there he is. Yeah, so something got him. Looks like as he was trying to... I Okay, actually, I have no idea where he went. Cake and Shy holding off. What are you throwing explosive charges here for? I don't think he realizes he can't throw them that far. Uh, Naders might find out the hard way, though. Nope, he wasn't close enough. All right, grenades going in this building here. Looks like they're deflecting, though. And X-Ray, why is X-Ray sweeping southwest? <laughs> what am I talking about? I already said X-Ray is going to be useless for the entire match. Did you? Okay, I was about to say that better not be a frag. Because if you just fragged yourself, you're, you're in trouble. Good grenade throw, but it looks like ever. Ooh, nope. It caught Norris. Gordon pre-firing. He runs back down. Jai's in the corner. With the M60, where's the grenade? That was a smoke grenade. Where's the frag grenade? Frag grenade. Okay, well, brute force works. A lot of boom boom going on. Blue Force still coming around. Now X-Ray is starting to come in. So we still have this part of the sector. Op4, meanwhile, a lot of them are kind of cut around here. You got Bait and Dooley, but they've got a lot of Blue Force around them. And then this six-man team still pushing. So 
Suppression going out to Puma. Dooley is about to meet Wiki and gets headshotted. That aggro's Bay. Bay's being engaged by a different angle. He throws something. That was a great grenade that might actually get Wiki. Did some damage. Shrapnel went to the head, but the, he was far enough away, so the helmet stopped it. All right, X-Ray, if you're going to make a move, now would be the time. Oh, they're trying. This four-man group, I mean, if they can, if they can hold, that might buy X-Ray enough time to actually be useful. Pierce coming up on the rear here. Got Delta pushing in. Bay's about to go full on fucking John Wick. Thankfully, everyone to his right is blind. Bay is also blind. Bay literally picked the one direction not to look. And then he looked a little to the left, so he missed everyone. Oh my god, Bay. Bay, I love you, but you gotta. You gotta do your 360 sweeps again, man. I remember he would literally look 180, no, um, 360 around. Oh, no, Bay, Bay, Bay. Oh my God, you're like Nemesis. Hey, right, see, Wiki did it. And he just, wait, no, I just, what? Wiki. Oh. You know what? Never mind. You're blind. You're all blind. Okay. Okay. We're pulling back. Puma gets one. Is Puma going to get two? Nope. Mitch is going to execute him. Are you, are you kidding? Is Puma going to get three? No. Ay, ay, ay. X-ray on the rear. I think they killed Pierce. Nope, Pierce was able to fold in. All right. I think Bay's dead because I don't see him anymore. Yep. He was hunted down and shot like a dog. Okay. I'm glad that story had a happy ending. Otherwise, we just have Alex in the hood. Pinned down. X-ray might enter the zone. And delay this AO further as Delta is now repositioning, but Blue 4 have strength in numbers. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm up, shall we? Come on, Alex. You literally just have to wait for X-Ray to uh, X-Ray is not entering the sound. Okay, you're dead, Alex. Great kill, Alex! Your buddy just bopped his head over below you. That was kind of weird. X-Ray, hiding as usual. Ooh, Mackenzie just got a good headshot there. I mean, we could still see Blue 4 persevere here because Op 4 is just divided in so many different subsections and it's just messy. It's just their defeat in the in detail. Divide into smaller groups, get conquered. So we might see these four guys also come back, but we have a guy named Eagle here and Eagle is in a tree. Trees are well, the natural harbor places of eagles here. Oh no, eagle spotted them. The tree told them they were coming. Is eagle gonna engage? I love how, uh, <laughs> Blue Force allergic to the AO. He's gonna wait till they stop me so we can get clean headshots. Nope, they're saying, they're really, okay, well X-Ray's in here now. Alex is still holding. Oh, some well-placed GLs would kill everyone inside. I was about to say, what's that grenade icon doing there? Eagle manages to knock out Mountain. Azuki returning fire. Oh, and he's also flanked by some other blue four coming around. Ooh. And here comes X-Ray. So X-Ray have to learn how to get up. There we go. 
Look at that. Did you just die to your own nade, dude? Because that was in the hallway. Anyway, X-Ray, uh... And that is the power of the AKS! That is the power of the AKS! <coughs> oh, and you guys doubted me. Yeah, so Op4 is losing manpower. Twins, I think, just killed this dude with a grenade or a suppressed gun. I think it might have been the suppressed gun. G-Legs, meanwhile, he got a kill. Uno killado, por favor. And now Delta's realizing that they're not even going to get Sector 2, so they're going to come back in as a five-man group. But by then, everyone else in the AO has been defeated in detail. Seven has decided this PKM is going to let him shoot through a bush. Wait, did he actually just kill everyone over here by spraying through that bush? Damn! I think some of the people fired through the windows, but you know, that looked cool. Pierce, Commander, on a kill. And there's still this solid garrison back here. I think Blue Force actually got this at this point. Sam! Throws a red smoke grenade. Do you have a real grenade? Like, a real, real grenade. Maybe? Do you, buddy? You have an MP5. Oh, too far. Wait, nope, too far. That's a smoke grenade. <laughs> Joel's like, who's throwing this crap? Get the fuck out of here. X-Ray doing something. Yay. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What the hell is this guy doing? Why the fuck are you over here just by yourself? Where's the rest of your unit? Why are you just like, mm, yes, today I will go on the docks and go fishing in my PvP experience. What the fuck? Yep, now Alex is going to continue to do Alex things because at this point, Op4 might be able to regroup enough numbers to take Sector 1 as well. Unless Alex puts a stop to it. You see, Alex has a plan. And that plan is to survive for 26 minutes. I don't know how the fuck he's going to do it. But you know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. Absolutely nothing can kill Alex. He is determined to be the top blue four guy waiting for reinforcements to come in. Moving on. Well, that was a solid firefight there, guys. Ah, Alex is alive. Ah. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, anyway, are we sure he's dead? I said he was dead and he came back. I mean, you know, and Sven took that personally. <laughs> <sighs> I won't be covering round three because I'm going to, uh, whatchamacallit, I'm going to go play Daisy because they started, uh, the rounds late and I don't want to stay up super late for, uh, FNF. So anyway, Seven started blasting. So we're halfway through the round. We're at the 24 minute mark. It's a 50 minute round. And I love how this man is just walking around. Dreek by the creek. That's it. G legs with the single kill. Yeah. Mm hmm. Now we just gotta wait. I know I'm Bay's not playing round three either. Oh, bye, Falcon. You know, this is round one, right? Falcon? 
I'm still covering the next round, which is round two. Okay. You're just done? You're going to go back to Valorant? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we just got to wait for this massive me re maneuver. Checking signups here for the uh, Starship Trooper Op. All right, that's going through. Oh, did G Legs get a kill? No. Maybe, maybe he'll kill Chult. Eighth or ninth person I've cast or cursed it tonight. Like this is this is gonna get its own compilation at this rate. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> this round is totally rigged. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you bet blue four. I don't mean to rig it. Wait, no. This is how I rig it. I have alt accounts that. Uh, <laughs> That bet op for. So now I'm just caster cursing all the blue for, right? Yeah, that's totally what's going on. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh, that's just. That's rich. That's so goddamn rich. I I can't even begin to comprehend. Like I. I have a headache right now from just how wild that was. Oh. Oh, man. Should I even do DayZ tonight? Like, I'm scared because I'm going to probably psych myself out at this point. If this is Op4 stream snipe, I'm not even mad. I'm just impressed at this point. <laughs> Lyra was a witch? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a witch, guys. I'm sorry. Don't do Daisy. Yeah, I'm. I'm worried people are gonna get revenge and troll me, but I do have to at least get on to get to the damn Kraz to get it changed out. Accept my punishment. Oh no. We woo the witch. Wait, what's that electric buzzing sound? The hell? <sighs> see, see, guys, guys, I, I can't cast or curse people, all right? It's all a myth, all right? See, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast or curse Artisan right here, all right? Artisan is going to be perfectly fine, all right? See, he's already sighted the enemy, and he's charging up, and Blue 4 are just going to all get wiped by, uh, by Artisan over here, all right? He's going to do it. He's going to do it. I mean, watch this. He's about to kill someone. Give him like 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See, guys, nothing happened. He just throws a grenade. Master cursing isn't real. All right, take Martin for example. I mean, he's perfectly fine behind this tree. Nothing bad's gonna happen to him. See, Patriot died instead. Totally fine. Totally, totally fine. All right, for real though, let's actually uh, cover what's going on here. So Artisan's run up ahead. We have this uh, four-man team kind of covering him here. Artisan's gonna find Martin. And, uh, yeah. Oh, Artisan ran out of ammo. Handgun! See, I told you. He's fine. He's totally fine. I don't know why you guys doubted it. I never doubted it for a second. What the Maz doing? Ha! Wheaton! More like back of the headshot, dude. Oh, I thought that came up the other way. <laughs> Come 
on that one you can't say I cast a curse him because we knew that was gonna happen when he ran up here and Wheaton wasn't listening. All right, that one wasn't a caster curse. That was just a thunk. I'm not ringing the match. That one was totally predictable. I was expecting that too. Huh, Ilvanek, more like I don't check my left. Oh shit. Here, let me say it louder this time. Ilvanek, more like I don't check my left. See, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna write that one down because that one. <laughs> I know him. I'm gonna bully him with that one. Ha, huh, Stottenberg, more like. I don't know. I've given up. More like I run into the Grenader Berg. I don't fucking know. All right, yeah, it's we're done. Martin woke back up. Interesting. That means they're. Oh yeah, it's actually a really big sector to cover. Ah, uh, fist more like ham fisted. <laughs> Noni! <laughs> that was literally Omeo wa Munshinderu Noni! <laughs> How did you get back here? <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna edit that one. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Now he has the M60! Like Zoink Scoop, someone gave him a machine gun! And now Stomberg, he's got an AK! But unfortunately, Artisan has a machine gun! Oh! The man cannot be stopped! See, I told you, he was gonna kill everyone! You should have believed me! Maz, more like. Drink! There you go! Oh my god, Drink, if you actually pulled that, I would have just. Yeah, alright. Yay! Artisan's dead! Yay! <laughs> Martin gets the kill. Did I give him invincibility? Yeah, you all saw it. It was because I was you were tabbed out. I just literally right-clicked and gave him invincibility, yeah. What is Maz doing? What's the Maz doing? Ah, yes, I am alive. Proceeds to throw explosive satchels everywhere in a panic. Ah. Yep, I'm the Zeus. Always have been. Why do you think I keep banning Falcon? It's because he's too good. He's hurting my market cap, you know, for uh, Friday Night Fight stonks. So we had to ban him over and over again. Because I had to artif uh, artificially inflate the fact that T5 Bay was the best player. But he kept changing his name, and I couldn't change the warranty quick enough. Then Falcon started rising. Do you know how much money I would have lost? I would have lost as much as that guy's face. Fifteen minutes left. Maz is gonna defend. Drake is gonna headshot, and Martin's going to die. Wait. Oh, Martin. Yeah, good job. Now don't die. See, Martin knows what he's doing, and this other guy doesn't know how to aim. How did that hit your butt? Maz with the grenade. It does nothing. Dreek with the breach. As with the, the, the gun? I don't know. How does work here? Dreek gets blown up, but he survives. Pierce! <gasps> with the explosive! Oh, wow, I actually hurt Maz with that. Oh, he's not gonna hurt Maz with that one, right? Yeah. I saw a symbol disappear for a second. I was about to be mildly concerned. I don't remember, Falcon. Oh, well, good thing Maz left that bunker. Here, if I right-click him and I hit the invincibility tree right here, Maz is now going to kill everybody. JK, I just cast a curse at him. Oh, I was hoping that was a grenade. I want to see Pierce get blown up. Oh! Ah! Oh. Maz, 
Maz, Maz, Maz, call your hits, bro. Maz, you can't, you can't do, oh my god. Maz, you can't do that, all right? All right, then people are actually gonna think I set you to invincible. Holy crap. Nope, he's not invincible. Um, oh, Martin did die. Look at that. That is the most ballsiest thing I've... I what the hell? Yeah, I rigged the game. Blue Force is going to win. JK, Maz is going to get shot in the face. Guys, the game was rigged from the start, all right? You just had to pick the winning faction to win the points, guys. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no! No! What are you doing? What? What? What are you? Oh, wait. notations. 